What's up, Droners? B here from Droner Tech, brought to you by RemotePilot101.com, and today we're gonna talk about how to use a DJI Follow Me feature. It's a question a lot of you guys like to ask, and it's a simple answer, so let's get right into it. All right, so to be able to use the DJI Follow Me feature, typically you're gonna be using these types of softwares because you want to not have to fly the drone and you want it to follow you. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You want it to follow you, maybe you want a boat or you doing something so that the drone will just automatically follow you and you don't have to necessarily fly it. This is a system that I honestly don't use a lot because I am a pro cinematographer and typically I want all of my shots to be super smooth and I don't necessarily trust software to be to be as smooth as my hands. Maybe I have trust issues, maybe not, who knows. Either way, I do play with this occasionally and I did it for you guys today. So I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how to do, use these follow me features and so that you can use them on pretty much any of your DJI drones that come after the Mavic Air. So we're talking about the Mavic Air, the Mavic Air 2, um, the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Zoom, um, the Inspire 2, pretty much all of them. I think it even came out on the Inspire 1. Don't hold me to that. I, believe, I remember there being something like this on the Inspire 1. But what I'm talking about are all the drones that are working with the DJI GO 4 app. So pretty much what you're gonna do, you're gonna take off your drone and you're gonna point it at yourself. So typically the way I do that is just take off the drone with the camera pointing at myself, just go straight up in the air, and then you're in the frame. And after that, when your drone is there, make sure that it's not in sport mode. It has to be in P mode for any of this to work. Um, so make sure it's in positioning mode, P mode, before you try to do anything because that allows the left side of your screen for there to be a little controller icon on it, and that is your autonomous flight features. So what you do is you click that feature, and then after you click that feature, it brings up a menu of a bunch of different type of flight modes that you can actually use. And so what you're going to do is you wanna do the follow me feature, so that's going to be the active track is actually what it's called. And then it's gonna give you a little, uh, a little thing that I never read that's like the instructions. You may wanna take a look at that. Um, but it'll also, on the screen, tell you what you need to do. So as you saw, when I pulled this up, it immediately said the drone is too close to you. So I just moved the drone back a little bit, and it said, okay. You draw a little square, you just literally touch the screen and draw a square on yourself. And then it says, okay, it's got you captured. It puts like a little green thing over top of you. And then it'll have like a go thing blinking. And um, the go thing does not start working. It does not start tracking you or following you until you press the screen one more time. When it's blinking go, it is not active tracking you yet. You press it, and then after that, you it pretty much is just gonna follow you. And one thing, make sure you hit the record button. It doesn't record for you as well. So hit the record button, and then after that, you're having a ball. It's gonna follow you wherever you're going in the regular active track mode. Um, like I said, if your recording is cool, on the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that there are there is a little, uh, a happy face shaped uh, line with a little ball on it. What is that? That is actually gonna allow the drone to circle you. So if you wanted to do a circle move around yourself or to just move to a different position of you, then you just move the drone with that circle. So you can move it left all the way to the left and it'll go all the way that way and then you press the little ball in the center and it'll stop wherever that is and it'll track you from that specific position. If you wanna move it to the right, same thing. Just move it over to the right and then it will go all the way around you to the right and track you from that specific position. Now, as you can see, I'm being really hilarious and obviously got the jets, you know what I'm saying, kind of fast. I did my best to actually have the drone get lose me um, by running back and forth really fast. It didn't work. So now I was like, all right, cool. Let's check out a different setting, the profile setting. And the profile is more so when you think of what a profile is, you normally think of like shooting you from the side. So I decided to do the profile setting to see if it can keep the profile of me or even recognize what my profile was while I'm flying. Same exact thing, you start it, you draw a little square on yourself, tap the screen and it goes. And as you can see, it goes. It's pretty easy to do, um, to be honest. Uh, the only thing you really need to know uh, that's going on is I see I'm going like back and forth really fast. Um, is that you know it does do a really good job of keeping with you because I was doing straight basketball slash football moves here and it did a decent job. Now, like I was telling you guys before, not the smoothest thing in the world, um, but also not horrible. It's definitely usable footage when it comes to like having things for your personal use for sure. Um, and then last but not least is the spotlight mode. And in the spotlight mode, this the drone isn't actually gonna fly itself for you. All it's going to do is turn the drone to keep you in frame. So to test this, what I did is I put it in spotlight mode, did the same thing, drew the square myself, press go, and then I literally ran in a circle around the drone. And guess what? It kept me center frame. 
because um, that's what it's gonna do. In this mode, this is a really good mode to be able to do like assisted flight mode, where you're flying the drone, but you're keeping yourself in subject, because it'll tilt the camera, and it'll keep the camera on you no matter what, and you can still actually fly the drone to say, oh, I wanna stay with this subject. So if you don't wanna be the camera guy and say, I gotta keep this subject in frame, as well as the drone guy, which is something you normally have happening with like a two operator kind of deal, like an Aspire 1 or Aspire 2, this could be a super helpful way to be able to do those kind of flights. Um, the only other thing you really need to know is to get out of one of these flight modes. Uh, first of all, you're using the controller itself in the first two flight modes. You're gonna get, you're gonna override the controls of the drone itself. So it'll probably take it. It takes itself partially out of the mode. It'll take your controls over its own. And the second thing is, is there's a red X on the left side of the screen. If you press that, it will fall right out of the follow me mode or the track feature, active track is what it's actually called. Um, it'll fall right out of that mode and guess what? You're no longer in it and you're flying the drone and you're back to normal. So land it, fly whatever else you want to do, do whatever else you want to do. And that is your super simple, super quick how to do a follow me slash active track on DJI Go 4 with any of those DJI drones. All right, joiners, I hope you guys enjoyed this informative use of Active Track and Follow Me feature. Uh, please remember that this, this video was brought to you by RopePilot101.com because they are so dope. If you want to get your part 107, then they are the guys to talk to about it, as in they'll teach you how to do it. Um, and as always, make sure that you guys subscribe, follow, like, share, because that shows us that you love us, you love what we're doing, and make sure you stay fly.